Hands up for your first grade one. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Fantastic. Jesus, unreal. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm I saw you were. I'm a fucking sex tonight, man. And I'm going away for a week. You can't say that. <laughs> he did everything right. I saw you. Paul Reynolds, RTE News, Dublin. The main street of Swords in County Dublin was closed for several hours this afternoon following the discovery of a suspect device under a car. The Garda station and surrounding shops and businesses were evacuated as defence forces carried out a controlled explosion on the device. No explosive content was found. The main street has now been reopened. Stuart, you're safe. Sorry, Stuart, Stuart, sorry. Guys, I have a bit of an, um, an admission to make. We've made a mistake, I'm afraid, Stuart. It's no consolation to you, but I'm afraid, Conleth, you are safe. So, Stuart, I'm going to have to ask you to come back. My apologies for that. Okay, Conleth, if you just join the others. Stuart, I'm really sorry about that. With, with live television, very often we have a failure of communication. Some of which will be thundery at times, but temperatures will drop back on recent days. That's it for me for the moment. Good evening. Thanks, Emil. Love, please welcome the Overtones. Okay, I warned you about these curtains, I seriously did. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Hiya. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the overtones. How are we doing? I'll hold. I'll hold it. Okay. No, you, you have to dance. Did, I'm not needed over there for the time being, anyway. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the overtones. <laughs> you. you should have shaved before you did that, Brendan. <laughs> How are you? You're a censor. How dare you? Uh, what? Gayburn and you are um, you're unstoppable arseholes. You arsehole. Thank you very much. You piece of shit. Thank you very much. Is it a big day for all of you guys in here? It's a big day. We've been looking at this for <laughs> well, a number of years, so it's great that it's happened and we're now hit the nine. Ten seconds, seconds nine, seven, six, six five, five, four, two, one, switch. And there we have it. The analogue is over. Figures obtained by RTE News show that HSE spending on the treatment abroad scheme fell by 1.6 million euro last year and the number of refusals has increased. The health service is... And the main news again this lunchtime. And I understand, sorry. Ennis... Well, there we must leave it. Bay Brito, New Buchla, and Shaw, Lakini, to Nochta, and Aina Hampshire. For me for now, good afternoon. The alcohol, but it looks like we won't be able to sugarcoat the truth. But first, it's over to the RT newsroom for the first news of the evening with Sharon Ifiolan. Just remind me, will you, what's full sound? It's 40 years since the launch of Apollo 17, the last mission that took man to the moon. Among those remembering the flight, it's Commander, Enterpri it's commander who said he thought his voyage... I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I'll try that again. A man has... Can we just go back to the very start of that? It's 40 years since the launch of Apollo 17, the last mission that took man to the moon. Among those remembering the flight was its commander. It's time to reveal the winner of today's competition. Two thousand euro off the grass. Yes, we have Jerry O'Connor from County Kerry on the phone. Now, earlier on, we asked you to copy the title of the popular uh, children's fairy tale, Beauty and the. 
What's the answer, Jerry? Is it beast? Or is it um, ogre? Ogre or animal? <laughs> Uh, ogre. Beauty and the... <laughs> Jerry, Pardon? Jerry, have you got the right answer for us? Um. I'll tell you what, we'll call you back at the start of tomorrow's show. We'll try and sort it out with you then. The Russian business tycoon Boris Berezovsky has lost his high court action against the Chelsea football club owner Roman Abramovich. Abram Mr. Through your television set, so you know who this is? I do. And what is the answer to our question? Uh, Roald Dahl. And Roald Dahl is correct. You know what this means? Ah, uh, yes. You'll be picked up. In well, it's a Cork number. Yes. A Cork City? Yes. All right. If well, they tortured her, I, they couldn't get anything out of this woman. There's no question about it. Barbara, who are you going to bring to the toy show next week? Oh, I I'm not particularly interested. <laughs> Hang on a second, Barbara. Wait a second. Hang on. Just a sec now. There's the tickets to the toy show, right? You can yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so poised for a place at Turnbury at the moment. The top four from each course will qualify for the Open, which begins on Thursday week. Well, Ivan will have the late update on News on 2 at 10 past 11 tonight. For now, though, it's back to you, Angus. Thanks, Joe. Well, the American Oscar winning actress, Angelica. There Angelica. we go again. Angelica, you so I can't believe I've done it again, uh, is in Galway this week where she is the guest of honour at this year's Film Fla. The festival is celebrating its 21st year and will feature eight Irish and world premieres, as well as dozens of films, shorts and documentaries. The daughter. Christmas and two of the teams that Ireland will face this autumn are preparing for what will be an historic encounter in Cape Town at the weekend. Argent, Argentine, Argent, it's uh, Argentina, uh, I beg your pardon, it's going to be South Africa and Argentina, of course, facing up in Cape Town. For me it was, yeah. cinema and, and the she tricolor. She pushed the stewards out of the way and she yeah, just took off. Uh, it's fantastic, and, uh, so, but there were many others, I, I knew you were just saying there. I mean, I thought Sonia 